Here we are, part two. Uh, so this is, this will go out a month. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I look high in that one. Not yeah. high like smoking high. <laughs> there you go. That would be hilarious. I'd have, to, I'd, lo I'd love to see that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, so would a lot of people. <laughs> Believe me. All right, hi guys, and welcome to the show. And guess who's back? How are you, sir? Good. How are you? I'm good. Oh. <laughs> That's Perfect. Awesome. <laughs> Perfect. I don't know if our mics picked up that. Pick that up, sorry, uh, but we Which have one a. What was it? I don't know. We have a lot of Casios before us, so. It's pretty funny. Yeah. So as you can probably tell, we're going to be discussing. Actually, it was you that uh, a, a viewer or a customer. I think someone commented on yeah, one of my. I forgot who it was. Right. About I guess a good collection, five five watch collection or ten watch collection um, that everyone should have. Right, and it's something that, and then that kind of evolved, and I had the idea of like. Because a lot of people ask me, what should I buy as your first right. watch? Uh, you know, something affordable, especially for people getting into the hobby. Right. Uh, kids as well. Definitely kids. Um, and something affordable under $100. So yeah. that is the challenge yeah. today. And I think the biggest challenge was not to make it completely, entirely all Casio. That's exactly <laughs> the challenge. That, yeah. It's so funny you say that. that's exactly what I was thinking. We picked five each. Yeah. And guys, shared yours down below. Should we do a very quick wristwatch check? Cause oh, sure. We're still Rolex. Uh, uh, go for it. Rolex video. So this is the date just. This is my dad's date just actually. Mid eighties. Yeah, mid eighties. Beautiful. So, beautiful. Size uh, second aftermarket. It's an aftermarket crystal. So uh, people are like, oh, your date magnification's off. It's a fake. No, it's just a five dollar crystal. Right. That I right. had replaced. Right. Um, and then. And that will be out by this the time. Will probably, yeah, this... and probably sold out. I'm guessing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm predicting the future. Nice. This is my abalone dial uh, so, Islander monster. Congrats for, <laughs> for this selling out and uh, yeah. I hope maybe not. Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? No, I think it will. It's, I've never seen a dial like that. Yeah. Oh, uh, I'm actually wearing the Casio. Oh. It's a DW290 uh, from Mission Impossible. I don't think you can see it now. Actually, if you if you move your head that way, that's it. See there you ya. go. There's the poster. Mission Impossible. I'm wearing it because I wanted to nominate it, but then... It, so this is an honorable mention, I think. This is an amazing watch. We'll, we'll get back to that in just a moment. So, sure. would you like to go first? Ah, uh, sure. So, in no particular order. I wanted to start, and I have one here. I brought one with me. It's a Bertucci. I nice. wanted to start with a watch that I don't think people would normally consider to be... Well, it's not a Casio. Yeah. It's not digital. It's just a nice looking watch. It's 60 bucks, uh, analog, clearly. I think the other place to go for a watch like this for a lot of people is- it's Timex? Yes, yeah, it's one of the newer Timexes, right. which I don't, I'm sorry. I just don't particularly care for them. Yeah, the, the, the QC and- Yeah, and this to me is it's more of a watch. This is, a, it's a plastic case. Uh, polycarbonate. So light. It's 36 millimeters. I don't the know. The strap it's... is heavier than the watch. Yeah, it's probably it's about crazy. 30 or 40 grams in total. I mean, maybe even less than that. Uh, Bertucci been around since 2004. They're pretty much they're really known for a lot of their titanium watches. They, uh -huh. they did some crazy stuff years ago. Polished titanium and colored titanium. They've been they've done some aluminum watches now. USA company. They've been using AmeriQuartz in some things. Mm -hmm. um, tritium tubes, just a real, this to me is a great, you know, beater watch. It's a uh, permanent lugs, right? Mm -hmm. So you have to, um, you have to use a, a one piece strap on it. Mm -hmm. uh, but ah, I see. Yeah, right. it's all, it's a very, very military. Uh, it sure is. And it's very, and their straps are, um, the straps are really nice. Uh, there's something about their straps. It's, uh, it's sometimes even <laughs> nicer than the watch. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> very supple, uh, you know, very comfortable. Very cool. Uh, yeah, so I guess it. And so this is American brand. American brand. It's not made in America. I'll be, you know, whatever. It's there in Illinois though. Bertucci's in, in Illinois. Mm -hmm. They do assembly and some other stuff in, in America on, on some items, but all their offices and corporate stuff is is USA. Um, I remember when you last we we talked about them in a video. Yeah, um, yeah. I dug out some stuff from that. That was back in like May or June or something. Right, right. Yeah. I I remember looking at their website and they they really have a, they look after their watches. I mean, their, their yes, customers. They sure do. It's crazy. Yeah. So some, seeing some of the ones that have been sent back that are beat up. Yeah, they go to, they'll even, they'll go to the sandbox over, you know, in, in, in they'll see combat and mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and they'll, and they'll still fix them up and repair them. Very cool. 
very, very cool. So yeah. out of all the uh, Bertucci watches, you would say this is the... I think it's a good opener. Yeah. 60 bucks. I just 60 think, bucks? 60 bucks. I was okay. like, wow, 60 bucks. That's awesome. Yeah. It's the quintessential field watch, isn't it? It really is. It really yeah. is. And they have watches that range up to a few hundred dollars. And nice. Like I said, tritium tubes and stuff. But this to me was just, I don't know, it's, like an, it's almost like a no-brainer. Fair enough, fair enough. I mean, what a great place to start. Not much more to say no, about no, it. Go ahead, go, yeah. go with yours. Obviously, Casio, right? And the problem was, which Casio? Because, <laughs> because you, I mean, I've got an, a, a whole plethora of Casios. Well, actually, sure I'll do. come back to that. You've got the A1... Is that, 160, A1. Is that 168? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Thank you very much. You've got the calculator watches. Oh, CA53. Very nice, which now they've updated. I'll be very impressed if you get the world timer. Oh, that's... is. No, I don't know it. Oh, so close. But yeah, the world timer. And then, you know, you've got slightly more expensive, the, the metal. Oh, well, oh, oh, real. This is, yeah. <laughs> That's big bucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the uh, more modern, yeah. uh, higher end uh, calculator it's watch. It's crazy. These are like $15. These are like $15. Yeah, those are, yeah, those are 15 bucks. That's crazy. Famous from um, Back to the Future. Now you can get them in a whole range of really cool colors. Which one? Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. I, but I have to say, I think the most, the archetypal, the, 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 the most best-selling, the, the most iconic mm -hmm. is the Casio F91W. Yeah. This is actually a new jelly version. It's a jelly, right, yeah. Uh, which I did a video on. I actually got this as a gift for last Christmas. 12, 15 bucks, something like that. First introduced in 1989, famously designed by, uh, let me read his name because I'm gonna completely oh. butcher this. Rai, Rai Suke, Morai. Yeah. That's Ryosuke. Ryosuke Morai. Please forgive me. An alarm. You can yeah. swim with it. It's, yeah. you know, I, I, in the last video, where is it? Uh, where did I put it? Which oh, one? here we go. Oh. I attach the a gray one. I do the Buzz Aldrin. I have this when I go running. I, right. I wear it on the, it goes on the underside. So you wear it kind of like, kind of like that. And suddenly I've got a, dual time zone, alarm, stopwatch, everything I need on my vintage sub. I can even time multiple things because now I've got the bezel free right. to do other things. Yeah. So I love it. You know, I think it's one of those watches I think everyone should have. Right, and I agree. In case you, you're like, ah, oh, well, it's too small because it is a very quite, you know, it's a petite watch by today's standards. Mm -hmm. I can't remember the measurement, but it's, it's, it's small. small. There is the successor, which uh, I don't even know. I did a video on it, uh, W217M. So this, if you want the same, essentially the same watch, it has a better, much better screen and better light, but it's just a, it's like Excel. It's like, look, you see? Yeah. What's crazy is the change in, I mean, you can obviously change the battery in them. Yeah. But if you go to a, a watchmaker or something, you might pay actually more than you pay for the watch. Yeah. <laughs> Not that I'm condoning disposing no, of the watch, no. but it's insane. I mean, when I, I sold these for, for, for a spell. Mm. Is that a saying for a spell? It's not something I would normally say. Anyway. I, that must be an American saying. I don't, yeah. I don't. For I think I was charging 9.95 or 10.95. Wow. And I was like, that's, that's insane. And you know they've, they, you can get fake ones. Yes, I have seen that, and that yeah. blows it, my yeah, mind know, right? that there's a market for that. I know. Blows my yeah, mind. Know. How can you make this yeah. for less? <laughs> and, and, and it's not that, and I, I did a video on this watch many, many years ago. Yeah. And to me, it's not just that the watch is 10 or $11. Yeah. The I, box. You yeah. get a box, yeah, yeah. you get a little plastic stand, you get a manual, you yeah. get distribution. Yeah. You got everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, that to me. It's crazy. You, I couldn't even make the box for less than ten dollars. Right, right. They're yeah. pretty cool. The, uh, and I have to say, you bring up a really good point about the disposability. But when I wear it like this and I bash it about, I put it in the shower. I, I don't worry about. You don't think about it at all. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas that, which is you know now close to an obscene amount of money for a vintage watch, but. I still wear the hell out of it. Anyway, discussion for another day. But yeah, it's. I love the fact that I just think everyone should have one. Everyone yeah. should have one. Yeah, I agree. When I see people wearing them, it always makes me smile. Right. You know, it's yeah, like, yeah. because they could be a watch guy or they're just or, cool. Or they, or they have no idea. Yeah, yeah that or they have no wearing, idea yeah. and, they're, and they're just, they're yeah. cool, you know. Pick, pick up a good watch. Yeah, next. Oh, back to you. Yeah, so I'm going to stick on the 
stay on the Casio bandwagon. I'm okay. going to, to the G-Shock. Uh, the one that nice. I actually owned. I don't own it anymore. It's gone when I was a kid. It's not uh, this one, is yeah, it? Yeah, that's 5600? Yeah. Yeah, so. Battery except. just died on that. Oh, well, and, and oh yeah, the little uh, adapters, huh? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so Casio DW5600 is the, the G-Shock. Right. Retail, the G-Shock. The G-Shock. Well, yeah. the, I, I did a little bit of research. The original was the 5000. Ah, okay. okay, and that was released in '83. Right. This guy came out about four years later. Mm -hmm. um, retains a lot of the same stuff, uh, but, it, but they, it's the most faithful on the market. Def, to... That is correct. Right. Well, yeah, the 5000 isn't made anymore. Yeah. They're still, they're still pumping these out. Mm. They're still pumping these out. What is that? 20, 30 years later. Yeah. It's it's insane when you think about it. Resin case, resin strap. Uh, $70 retail, which means when you find them online, they're probably 50? more like 50 bucks. Right, right, yeah. <laughs> That's what I paid for. Actually, I bought, that was 40. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, super, you know, G-Shock, they, you know, Casio spent a lot of time how to make a watch, you know, shock resistant, temperature resistant, everything. Yeah. And they did four things, I wrote them down, uh, which was interesting. Floating inner module, which I knew this, because when I took one apart years ago, mm -hmm. I found springs on the inside. I'm not sure those right. springs went back in when I was done. Right. <laughs> Shock resistant poly case, right? So the whole case is like encased in this rubber material. Uh -huh. And I see you've also, you must have added this, this yeah, metal the, thing. The bars, The case, yeah. yeah. There's cushioning material on the inside of the watch. And this is the last thing, I had no idea. You ever see, well, you obviously took the strap off, you know, the, the rubber strap is mm -hmm. curved and you cannot, for uh, the yes. life of you, you cannot yeah. straighten out. And actually, usually the strap has a little, like a little step and mm -hmm. it hugs the back of the mm -hmm. watch. Do you know why that's like that? to absorb impact? Yeah, so when you drop it, when you're mm. putting it on in the morning or whatever, and you drop it, this is the most susceptible side to damage, the case back, because mm -hmm. that's where the battery is and electronics. So the, the strap automatically curls up and it becomes a shock absorber. Amazing. I As, always wondered that. And I was yeah. like, why do they do this? I can't straighten the damn thing yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So yeah, so. That's really cool. Totally cool. So a little book re recommendation. This, I'll put to that camera. The uh, G-Shock Bible, it came out in Japan. You can find them on eBay. Obviously, it's in Japanese. There is some English uh, Look at section. all of those yeah, models. look at that. That's crazy. Look at that. This is up to the 30th anniversary, which was That's 2000, 2013. 2013, yeah. You're missing a lot of stuff. Yeah. So, I mean, still a wow. ton of stuff. Oh, and there's the inventor. There's Kiko Abe, the, uh, the inventor. Oh. Cool. So he, he came up with the idea when he dropped his, I think, a mechanical watch that was oh, right. yeah, given yeah, yeah, to yeah. him. Yeah, It broke and he wanted never to, to invent a watch that, you know, was shock resistant. Yep. So I think I have a picture of the original. There it is. Oh, that's the 5000. That's There's it. The 5, that's there it. we go. There we go. Guys, that's crazy. do, I highly recommend if you're a fan of G-Shock, you got to get, sorry, that's the back, sorry. <laughs> Get one of these books. Uh, Blows my mind. mind. Yeah, it's crazy. Insane. I love the cover. And there's all yeah, all the little pictures. Yeah, yeah fantastic. Yeah. Great choice. Right, what do you got? Great choice. Oh, okay, next, Swatch. Yeah. I have a couple. I have, I have uh, actually another book. I have the Swatch Collector's Guide. And this, this is in the book. And in fact, it's on my wall no, over that there. That's that one, right? It's the yeah. giant one. And it's on the cover. There it is. It's Shakespeare on, on the, uh, the watch. So uh, Swatch started in 1983. They have become incredibly collectible. They're still innovating. We had the Moon Watch recently. They had the System 51. Countless collaborations with franchises from mm -hmm. movies to the art world. You can find everything from Frida Kahlo to Matisse to whatever you want. You know, it's, right. it's all about primarily quartz, but affordable you know, yeah. around the $50 mark. And then just look at these really, uh, some are outlandish, some are crazy. I remember all those. This is worth a pretty penny. You're not gonna find this one. I bought this because I have the, the, the giant one. Look at this, this is crazy. Oh, this wow. kind of fur, like yeah. a, a cat? It's, it's a seal. It's a seal, oh, it's yeah. a seal. Yeah, it's <laughs> made from real seal. <laughs> it's about having fun, it's about design, it's about expressing yourself, it's about whoever they collaborated with. Right. They take, you know, elements of like, with the Keith Haring ones, which are extremely, they're, they're, they cost more than a Rolex Submariner. Um, Crazy. Yeah, and. For plastic. But and yeah, just a little plastic watch. Yeah, not to everyone's taste, but I guarantee you there's a, there's a swatch for everyone. You know? You walk into a swatch store, it's insane. Yeah. They're all, and they're all hanging up from the wall. Yeah, and yeah, you can yeah. play with them. I own, how many swatches do I own? 
two, two or three. Right, yeah. oh, this is one of my favorite, the Grand ah, Prix cool. 1992. Yeah. Cool. Super fun colors, you know, like, I, I love that. It was an intelligent w response to the quartz crisis by making quartz fun, right. affordable, and it got so many people into the watches. And then know? they bought over the whole industry. Yeah, oh yeah, of course. I mean, that's really, yeah. that's, that's amazing. That, yeah, genius. When people that aren't into watches, when you tell them the Swatch owns <laughs> yeah. 25 to 35 percent of the brands that are yeah. out there and mostly higher end ones mm. and making the movements and everything else. Yeah. yeah so you can go it. vintage. You can you can still find some old pieces on eBay. Yeah. Uh, but new is great stuff. Great, great, great stuff. Um, back to you. So I'm going to go because I want to go here. I'm going to go to automatics. I figured, you know, let's oh, go to okay. automatic watch. So nice. Orient TriStar, which nice. is. Have they been discontinued? No, they're still around. Ah, they're okay. Still, they're still kicking around. They're not popular in this country, okay? Because ah, Orient doesn't right. really market them much right. here. But you go to like South America and stuff, right. and they are, they're really tremendous. Right. Far East, you know, Malaysia, tremendous. And what can you say? Uh, they started in the 1970s, mm -hmm. and the three stars was quality, design, and price. I like their kind of Seiko That's like five. their Seiko 5. Kind right, of got yeah. it, got it. You can usually find them under 100 bucks. It's mm -hmm. their own in-house movement. It's kind of like a, almost like a pared down version of like what's in the Ray and the Mako mm. and stuff. Folded link bracelets, you know, cheap and flimsy and floppy mm. and stuff like that. But an automatic, nice looking watch, you can get them. You know, a lot of them look like Rolexes, let's be honest. Mm. You know, date just sort of, or What's a date a, date, if you will. Uh, yeah, day, day yeah, one. Yeah, they were the president ones. Yeah, and, nice. Yeah. Um, for under 100 bucks, they got, they, got like, they got Arabic dials, they have like these golden dials, they have louver yeah. dials, sizes from the mid 30s up to like 39 or 40 millimeters. So I'm guessing this is like an eBay. Yeah, it's an it's eBay find. An eBay find. An right. eBay find. I mean, Orient USA does. They've got them on their website. They got a couple of them, uh -huh. but it's, again, it's just not. Can you order it directly from? I, I assume you can. It's on their website. Mm. I think you okay. can click on them. Fair enough. So yeah, no, I, but I think it's automatic. Yeah. It's under hundred bucks. Yeah, yeah. You know, it kind of gives the SNK a, a little run for its money. Run for its money. Yeah. Right. Very cool. Very cool. I've always liked those. I, and and they put the little applied stars on them. Yeah, the yeah. Stars it's on nice. The it's nice. Reminds me a bit like the Seiko. Not not Seiko. Citizen. Um, Eagle, was it Eagle 7? Oh, yeah, 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 we just, yeah, that yeah, was yeah. last month. Yeah. Or that, two months yeah. ago, whatever, yeah. yeah. Right, so next, actually, I had written G-Shock DW56 on my list, but you've done it, so. Oh. No, no, it's fine, it's fine. You know what? There's so many Casios. I'm going to go with the Duro. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. So, yeah. That's fine. 50 bucks, a real, it's a 200 meters water resistance. Yes, it is. I've seen people dive with it. People post pictures on the. I think I did put one on the Instagram. I'll, I'll have a look back. But people rarely use this fifty bucks dive watch. Yeah. It has that Submariner classic look. Yep. Uh, it is a big one. That's yeah. forty-four. Yeah, forty-four. Yeah. yeah, I would have one if it if it was smaller. Uh, Casio, yeah. if you're listening. <laughs> They recently kind of revamped it with. with they did. They added some color colors, and blue, stuff blue. to it. Blue, yeah, yeah they did. Yeah, I yeah. know. I saw that. Yeah. Still really affordable, and and it comes from a, a kind of period where they were doing more analog pieces with the with that marlin uh, fish yeah. on the back, mm -hmm. and even its progenitors have that. And cool, usable. You got the bezel. It's a classic. Yeah, people look to actually upgrade them, buy parts for them, but oh really? It's almost like like people want sapphire for them. They want bracelets. And yeah. You're gonna spend. 100 bucks yeah to put a sapphire in a watch that's worth 50. yeah, yeah. i don't <laughs> i don't I mean, get it i kind of like that it's it's like i guess it's like um you know the whole modding thing like yeah that's it's kind of what they're looking for yeah like for example this costs i can't even remember how much this cost me. oh if it depends when you got it it could be 70 bucks yeah yeah, yeah. i say 60 bucks yeah but i was considering modding it and i had planned out you know i, I talked to jeff um watchmaker four shout out to jeff there by the end of it, I, it was like a thousand dollar bill, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. For, for a fifty dollar watch. I didn't do it in the end. I, I'm just happy as it is, you know? And would I really wear it? I decided against it in the end. But I've seen yeah. people do like some dome sapphires on them and they look nice. Yeah, yeah. They do yeah. look nice. Sorry, that was my, um, it's a fairly easy one, you know? Yeah, no, it's a definite. It's a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer. MDV106 is the part number. There you go, there you go. So, back to you. <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna go, so this one's number four now already? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're flying. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to Timex. Mm. But for a Timex that... That's so funny, my last one is Timex too. Whew. It's not that 
that one. Not that one. <laughs> uh, I'm going for the Iron Man. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, which I guess is almost like in the, you wonder sometimes, was it, was it designed because Castillo, what they were doing. Yeah. You know, kind of like a rugged I, I watch. I think it was, I think it was. Yeah, but yeah. let's see, so I have the year down. So released in 84, it was called the triathlon first. Right. So they were, you know, people wanted to watch that they could swim, mm -hmm. you know, swim, bike and run with, mm -hmm. stopwatch, timer, alarm, blah, 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 blah. And uh, two years later, they purchased the rights to the name Iron Man. I mm -hmm. would assume just to be used for watches because Iron Man is still the triathlon. Um, but that was in 86, um, they released the watch. Mm. They upgraded the water resistance to 100 meters from 50. Nice. Uh, added some color schemes and nice, stuff. Nice. But other it's than still that, going, right? It's still going. Yeah. Uh, let's see. In 92, it got Indiglo. And then in oh, the 2000s, yeah. nice. it got Datalink. Oh, of course. Okay, all the other crap. I remember that. And then I a used blue... To think, I yeah. used to think it was so cool. Yeah. You know? was, and then a, a, a blue loom and all the other stuff. And they're still... I looked at it last night, 40 or 50 bucks. Oh man. You can yeah, get them. Yeah. Maybe not with the data link in it, but, or whatever, but. The, you know the ones I immediately think of with the orange buttons? Yeah, sure. Yeah. That's the color scheme that made it, you know, that was yeah. kind of famous, yeah. Because uh, I've seen astronauts wear them. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah. been in space. Yeah. I'm sure it's been in a ton of movies. And I'm pretty sure uh, a, a rather controversial ex-president war an Iron Man. Uh, uh, an Iron Man. I don't know if I should mention his name because I don't like to get political, but... There's no, politi um, there's no politics if someone's wearing a watch. I'm pretty sure Clinton. Really? Yeah. I think I actually do think you're right. Yeah. I don't know I do why I remember right. that. Mm. So there you go. Um, yeah, Iron Man. That is a really cool watch. I mean, that's a go. I like the G-Shock, early 80s and still going strong. Yeah, 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 yeah. Guys, nominate movies and... Because I'm sure it's been in a bunch of movies and I, I can't remember off the top of my head, but in the comments, please. Well, I'll go with my last one, Timex, The Space Invader. This is the T80, I believe. It's a strange watch, but it's a fun watch. I really like what Timex are doing because they're doing collaborations. It's an officially licensed with um, Taito, who in 1978 made Space Invaders, the, this arcade game classic. Yeah, everyone knows it, right? What's weird... I would say everyone. Don't forget, don't, oh, forget, don't yeah. forget how old you are, dude. Kids today, yeah, yeah. If you're, 20, if you're in your 20s and watch this, you might be saying, what the hell is he talking about? Right, 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 right. The only thing is that that, that motif of the that alien coming down, right? <laughs> do, 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 is... <laughs> do, do, do. Has kind of bled into proliferate... Oh, I can't say that word. Proliferated? Poli that word. That one. <laughs> that one. <laughs> It, into like design and Got stuff, it. you know? Yep. But this is an official collaboration. Seiko do this a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think, I think Timex are really sharpening up their, their they've revamped pretty much everything. Yeah. Uh, it started with the, the, the Marlin, was it the Marlin? Yeah, yeah. the Marlin was the Bringing first. Bringing back yep. uh, hand winding, uh, yep. you know, their, their marketing and their ideas is fantastic. And, but it is strange because I typed in 1978 and the watches Timex were doing in 1978 were nothing like it. It's a digital watch. Yes. It looks like a Casio F91W. Mm -hmm. Nothing like that. They didn't do that until later. Got it. So it's a bit strange that would they go with digital. I get it. Right. Digital watches, you think of computer games. Recently, they they got the franchise with Stranger Things. They did a. Oh, did they really? Yeah, and um, they did a field watch with called the upside down with the, the numbers the wrong way. Right. I don't know if you're familiar with yeah, the show. Yeah, my kids, my son watches it. Or right, it. so in there's a there's another dimension where everything is upside down. Okay. So they did that with the watch, Got everything it. the other way around. Oh. This kind of creative, fun, affordable, but functional from a brand that has a rich yeah. horological heritage. It sure does, you know? yeah. And they but they, re they released the Space Invader again, I want to say like four years ago, didn't they? Right. When they did yeah. Pac-Man. Yeah. Yeah, Pac -Man. So. yeah, Pac Man. And this is nothing new to them. I mean, they they uh, were the makers of the Mickey Mouse watches way right, back. Right, original, yeah. Which is 1930s, I think. Yeah. If I saw that, I, I, I have a friend who owns one, but if I saw it out in the wild, it's a bit like the Casio. It's like, it makes me smile. It's like, yeah, yeah. yeah you know, like. You know what you're doing. Yeah, it's like, that's a cool watch, you know? And you can start a conversation, blah, blah, blah. So much better than a smartwatch. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah. Next video. <laughs> I got one more to go. All right, you got one more to go. Okay. Invicta Pro Diver. Da, 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 oh, you da, delivered. Da, da, da. You delivered. <laughs> there we go. There it is. 
I bought this to review, and it's j I totally forgot I owned it, and it's been sitting in the box. Now you see, you see this on someone's wrist, what do you do? You do a double take. Are they wearing a subby, or are they not? Yeah, right, right. I always try and get a closer look, you know? Here it goes. So, uh, Invicta Pro Diver. This is like the original homage watch. Like, this is really... Is it? I mean, I think, when I think of, you know, people copying Rolex, I the think first this legal that was yeah. not a, a, a yeah. counterfeit. Yeah, I mean, they're still making this now. They're still yeah. making them today. You know, it just kind of totally looks like it. Powered yeah. by uh, Seiko NH35 uh, movement. Right. It's got the black dial, it's got the Mercedes hands. Beautiful bezel. Yeah. I mean, crazy for a watch that's under 100 bucks. Hold it out to your mic so you can. Oh. Blows my yeah, I mind. Know. Nice. That's crazy clickiness. Yeah. Very, very satisfying. Polished Centrelink bracelet. Yeah. Micro adjust. Yeah. Four position. Can yeah, I get yeah. this up? Oh, look at that, huh? Beautiful. And the display case back. Display case back. Invicta rotor. I don't know. I just, uh, I, didn't, I didn't write many, many notes. I mean, let's be honest. So the retail being Invicta, the retail is three, over 300 bucks. Oh, yeah. I have the label here. Oh, wait. do you? How, what is it? Because it was, it was, uh, 315. 315, that's what I got, yeah, 315. <laughs> Model number uh, 8926OB. Uh, it's just like a millimeter or so I kinda thicker. I kind of like the box, actually, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like just a millimeter or so thicker than the real deal. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's got Invicta on the side of the case. Mineral crystal, uh, mediocre loom, but still for an opening watch, it's crazy. Yeah. I mean, they make these now in quartz, and the quartz are like 30 or 40 bucks. Yeah. Which, Sorry, can I have a look? Yeah, I haven't please. actually looked at this. Can I have this. a look at my own watch, please? Yes, yeah. you can. <laughs> Applied markers Applied as well. Applied marker, it's got everything. Yeah, I love that little counterbalance. Yep. And it's, like I said, that's like the, that, oh, you liked it, huh? Yeah, it's. it's He's fallen in love all over again. It's strangely good. Oh, I'm going to sell my, um, my Tudor Subby and just have this, I think. Buy some crypto or something. No. No, no don't no, buy no. crypto. <laughs> no. Not now. What do you it, think? It's quite extraordinary how the quality of the, the, the polishing and everything. Yeah. Yeah. I, I hear Rolex buys it from the same factory. <laughs> 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 yeah. And I mean, Invicta go way back. You know, they got a ton of history behind it. I know they get yeah, a bad rap. It's a different because one. Of, that's a, diff, that, that's a different Invicta, but yep. I, yeah. haven't, I haven't actually got this out of the box since I made the How video. How long have you had it? Uh, since, I think, year one of the channel. So oh, so it's been a while. Seven years? Wow. I've just sat there. It's still going. It'll be interesting to see how accurate it is. It's vintage. <laughs> it's real vintage. vintage. Real vintage. Now that's nice. my five. Nice. Well, on my last, yeah. I, I had to go with the um, Seiko 5, the older, the SNK. Uh, 809? Nice. I remember is the that reference. A, is that a K1 or a K2? Wait, what, one is made in Japan, right? Well, no. So K1 and K2. K1 was on a bracelet. K2 is on the fabric strap. This came on the fabric? Yeah, it's K2. How do you know that? Because the K1, since it's on a bracelet, can't be a blasted case. It's a brushed case. This is a blasted case, so it was a K2. Ah, I did not know that. I'm like a detective. Yes, that's, that's impressive. Thank you. Yeah, you, well. <laughs> this knowledge is good nowhere else in, in the world, just so you know. <laughs> okay, everyone knows that the Seiko 5 line has been rejuvenated. Yeah. I personally thought it was really clever what they did. I agree with you. But you can still find these older ones yeah. with the old school applied logo. It's kind of like a shield logo compared to the S, the Superman S it is now. Yep. For around 100 bucks on you Yeah, can, you can still find Amazon, it for 100 bucks. Amazon, eBay, yeah. that kind of thing. But actually, I also found out that if you want a, a really cool vintage uh, Seiko. You can buy the original Sportsmatics oh, really? on eBay. Okay. And I've seen a ton of them for a hundred bucks. Decent condition, mainly from Japan. There's a ton of them. So that's a little vintage uh, if you want to go. And the designs, are, they look like Grand Seikos. Yeah. Obviously not that level of quality. Right, but, right, finishing. You know, short sword hands, mm -hmm. applied markers. They look like Grand Seikos. Crazy. But all they have is Sportsmatic. Yeah. And the thing about the SNK that I love is it's a nod to their World War II watches. Even though they never had Flieger style dials, which is a bit bizarre. Yeah. They did make the Kamikaze watches and uh, they got real heritage with aviation. Like they had the, the watches issued to the RAF with the chronographs in the yeah. 80s and 90s. Mm -hmm. and I've, I've talked to death about it. It's a lineage of true aviation watches, but with this bizarre 
German yeah, yeah. Fliegerdahl. <laughs> Fliegerdahl is yeah. quite. Uh, I love it. It's, it's a it's a really charming watch, and and it's a good, It will be a sad day when you can no longer buy them because it's, it's completely. It's got to be coming. Oh, it's not discontinued. No, no, it's got to be. It's that day has to be out. coming. Right. They were, they, they're obviously just sitting on uh, the seven S twenty six movement. They have right. still got something left because mm. that's all that's keeping it going. Yeah, display back. Yeah. Um, Amazing, amazing. And actually, talking of which, you'll notice these two Casio boxes here. These are DW 290s. Oh, wow. I've bought another two. Why? Because I heard a rumor that they're discontinued. So I love this watch too, so much. I'm, you, I'm one of those guys that ran on bought toilet paper a couple of years ago? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I had already got my own. Trust me, I, I prep, like, I, I'm prep. I, I can There's imagine. soup and everything here. Got it, got it. locked down. <laughs> yeah, you're really, you're really locked yeah, down. Yeah, so I'm, I, you know. So you have two more. I have two more. But why? Because I... But you have it. Okay, the green rubs off. I have another one, an older one, that the green has completely rubbed off. Okay. That I've used, I beat to hell. It's another gym kind of watch. I just love this watch so much. Got it. It... it it speaks to me, the design, the functionality, everything. It's, it's, a, it's a couple of order of, of, of design, in my opinion. I've done, I've done a video on you, you know. I, it's funny, I, I used to load it. I thought it was the ugliest thing, but, but it's so comfortable. I, I adore it. Okay, so I bought, no problem. I never be, want to be without one. So that's why I'm stockpiling. I'm not judging, man. <laughs> Blows my I mind. Know. Another little tip. So definitely buy them. <laughs> you're now. gonna cause a man rush. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you're not gonna be able to. And trust me, I don't. So I looked at prices of of. There are some Casios. Yeah. There's some swatches we we yeah. talked about. Sure. Uh, that you can no longer buy. The prices are ridiculous. Seriously. They've become even G-Shocks. Like the the. Well, the, I know G-Shock for sure. The Rise Man. Not okay. the range man, the mm. rise man, which I owned, shouldn't have, shouldn't have sold it. I saw one for a thousand bucks. I said a thousand bucks, yeah. Yeah, I'm like, because I was looking, I was like, oh, I miss my rise man. I wouldn't buy, mind buying one of those. So, oh, I looked, thousand bucks, crazy. Anyway, you got a free discussion on. Uh, um, yeah, no, and a little view into your psyche. <laughs> Small that a, glimpse. That I'm a crazy prepper, <laughs> and that I'm stockpiling Cassias. Nice. All right, guys. Well, we'll leave it there. Thank you so much again. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Pleasure. Uh, pleasure, pleasure, pleasure. Massive thank you to, uh, to Mark for sponsoring the production of this video. Guys, don't forget to share your suggestions down below. We could only have 10, although we kind of cheated a little bit. Uh, yeah, so affordable watch is under $100. There you go. Right, we'll catch you in the next one. Don't forget to like this video. Very Yay. important indeed. Yeah. <laughs> and we will see you in the next one. Thank you. Ciao.